Hey, what is going on guys? Dark Dragon from Tropes Achieved here, and today I'll be bringing a little informational video, or try to at least, anyway, it's sort of not a bit different than normal, it's not a guide, and as you can tell from the title of this video, it is going to be about the PlayStation 4. Now, with me and Jolly, we both are PlayStation uh, gamers, and we have it as a preference, we both have an Xbox as well, but of course everyone has their preference when it comes to consoles, and we love the PlayStation console, and when they announced a PS4 the other day, we were like, yes, but um, we're in this video, I'm going to bring you a little bit of information about it, and, you know, some of this information, of course, affects the channel. I won't go, blah, blah. I won't be going through the whole thing in its entirety, because there are tons of videos about that already, which will be a million times more professional than me, but I'm just going to go over the things that I found, you know, that stood out, and the things that will affect this channel. And, of course, firstly, we've got to get into the most important thing, well, not the most important thing, but when it comes to our channel, it is, and that is trophies. PlayStation 4 will have trophies, and by the looks of it, it will just continue our account on the new console. Um, we can see this as they use this screenshot during their press release, um, which clearly shows the trophy and the amount he's got, and since there's not many PS4 games out, I very doubt that is the real number, so that means the trophies carry over from PS3 and Vita, which is very, very good. And speaking of Vita, another thing, another feature that I thought was amazing was the remote play, which will be very, very good with the PS4. Now, me and Jolly both got our Vita a few days ago in the post. There's a little video there of me unboxing it. And what remote play is, they have a little bit of the PS4 at the moment, but with the Vita, you can access your PS4 from anywhere where you have internet access, pretty much. So you say if you're on holiday and you have your Vita with you, you can access your PS4. And not only can you access it, but you can play the PS4 games from like in, on your Vita. I think that's an amazing feature. That's really good. I mean, you know, playing full-blown PS4 games on a Vita is just going to be brilliant. And the fact that um, games are going to be instantly playable um, on the PS4, there's not going to be any waiting periods when you buy or purchase a game. There's not going to be a download. It's like you have to wait ages to download as soon as you press purchase you can play it instantly and I think stuff like that's gonna be amazing They're just little things. I mean the PS3 I could say I can safely say the PS3 is still good enough um, It's just the little features they're bringing up um, Will make the PS4 amazing. I mean it's, it's gonna be a super powerful console anyway by the specs I'm not too um, familiar with specs, but from what I've seen and from what I've been told they are very very good So that's pretty much it really um, there's also other cool little features like share where you can instantly live stream or share um, what you're doing at that present time on the game with friends which is a pretty cool feature and I believe your friends can even take over your console and help you with your stuff so just these little features are going to be really amazing I'm really looking forward to it um, PS4 no doubt I'll be getting it on release whenever it is released the release date at the moment is this year but it's not been confirmed um, late this year we're all guessing December time so Thanks for watching guys and I'm really looking forward to this. Adios.